and Patricia McNeely from Twin Flames Merge and Twin Flame Body. I hope that you're doing well. So we are in this energy of full moon, which actually started probably last week for a lot of people. That part's not a news flash. But this is going to be a big push through the 15th and also um, for the solstice. Now, a lot of people are anticipating this. They're rubbing their hands together. But once again, I'm going to say this. This may be different than what you may think it is. Because this is also another closure. It's a closing the door of the past. It's leaving the world behind. And in a way, that's a good thing. These are some of the things that can be considered a blessing in disguise. The things that have troubled you or the things that might come up in the future, those are going to be behind a closed door. There's a big shift, and I have a couple of things to talk about in regards to this uh, energy because it's more than moon energy. Some people were feeling it as a solar flare. Some people were feeling it as head pressure. You're going to feel it as heart pressure now. I know how to help people with that. Because it's like being squeezed here. And you may have gone from like cracking sensations to pressure and you want it alleviated. That is something that I do help with. I don't like to be uncomfortable. Nobody likes to be uncomfortable. One thing you'll find about this journey is no matter how you've started the journey, you're going to start doing things from a different place. And you have to. Because if you don't, there's not growth there. There's a level of spiritual maturity that comes with the expanding of your new body, of your twin flame body, the connections, and it actually makes things easier for you. And I will have a series of videos coming out where I explain it in a little bit more detail. It has to do with your subtle bodies. It has to do with melding some of those subtle parts of you together. Now, I know that people hit different points in their journey, which are different than the phases or different than the stages. And sometimes those points feel like it doesn't matter anymore. Sometimes those points feel like, what the heck am I doing? Sometimes those points feel like, why have I spent so much time, effort, energy, money on something that isn't coming to fruition? And those are big questions. Sometimes the internal feels like this might never happen. And then if you watch things that are telling you it's never going to happen or they're commiserating and just saying the twin flame journey is just about pain and suffering... You get that with people that start to look it up. It's got a lot of negative press. I'm here to bring the positive to this. It's time to be positive about what this really is. Because it's very, very simple. This is your gigantic, universal, once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to ditch the past, heal from the past, Feel yourself again as being you without being all tangled up, without other people's garbage, without baggage. It's being brand new. It's having an actual body that doesn't let things cling to you. And it's about being in love. So whatever people call it, divine relationships, I call it twin flame. Because it is only the twin flame, the flame part, the flame that comes from somewhere to here where you're putting the spiritual and the material together. And some people still try to separate it. They're like, oh, I'm spiritual. I'm not material. Or, oh, you know, I'm material to a degree. Or my twin is very materialistic. Or the people in my family are materialistic. And I'm the spiritual one. You're going to find out that both these things have to go together. They just have to. There has to be a balance. And the universe needs everything back into balance. The chaos has to stop. 
We're not bringing the chaos going forward. So how do people find peace with this? It begins with finding peace internally, which is why I say a superficial level of spirituality really won't cut it going forward. But what does make it easiest is to utilize your body, which is wired up to help you not only have higher experiences, but to skim over things, to deflect things, where you don't have to go walking around in the world like, you know, you're a warrior on a mission deflecting this and that, where you truly have achieved that childlike quality that lets you actually be back to the bliss. The ignorance is bliss. You might see it, but it doesn't even blip on your radar. Now, what else about 2020? There's going to be a lot more people waking up, and it's going to start happening in um, the next change of season. So even though we have not yet changed the season, I'm here to tell you that it's on. And so this brings me to a point to make about people who say to themselves, I can't handle anymore. I think I'm done. I don't know what this twin flame thing was, but it must have been just a thing and a thing I went through or a thing I felt at one time and I think I'm done. Well, you can tell that to yourself, but here's the key difference. You've already started for one thing. For number two, when you start, you've started disentangling from other people. They now become lighter. So whether you stay in place, other people start moving forward. So let me give you an example of this. Some people say, well, I've kind of given up. That person has given me no responses or worse response. They've been nasty to me. They've been downright nasty. They've treated me worse than someone would treat a dog on the street. No offense, but sometimes people find that they wind up getting kicked in the teeth for professing their love. And that's not right. It's not right. I don't agree with it. There's no um, finesse to anything. Sometimes people literally have to warn someone away. But what happens if you enter into a relationship? Okay. Now remember, everyone has been disentangling. A lot of people have already been working on raising the vibe here, working on helping humanity, working on healing humanity, and genuinely doing a lot of good work, going to places, working with people. I myself, I work with groups, I work with one-on-one -on -one people, I work in person in energetic body sessions, I, work, I do twin flame body work, which actually works on two people. So what happens when I'm working on one, but the other person starts getting the same benefits? Because whatever you do, it hits the mark. Love always hits the mark of who it's supposed to hit. If it's not hitting that other person, or your spouse, or the person you're in relationship with, it's still hitting who it needs to hit. So you cannot degrade whatever you have done so far. Of course, you may need to breathe a bit. Of course. That's natural. Because you are here to be who you came here to be. Not to pretend, not to talk about it, but actually to be it. It's time to actually be the being that you are by being the spirit in the material world. And that's a challenge because sometimes people will think, well, that's only for ascended people. Or I'm religious, that's only for saints. Or, you know what, um, I really thought I was getting somewhere, but somehow the world in and, and it was back to reality. Reality bites, it really does. And then the plot thickens because... What happens when it shows up physically on the heart? Okay, so 
I want to take a lot of the confusion out of this and let you know that so much can be accomplished by working with your twin flame body, of which not only am I a master teacher of it, I am teaching other people. So that hopefully locally what I envision is that at some point people are together and you go and get some energy work done very easily, just like you would get a massage or a pedicure or a manicure. And that is what I'm working on. In fact, if you're interested, I will have a link below. Meanwhile, how do you wind up feeling the twin within that exists within you? So I do have several ways. I do sessions with people and get them back on track, get them to feeling, get your fire back, get your mojo back, get your zen back, whatever it is. Do not suffer. You don't have to suffer. Because I will say this also. If you ignore the suffering, you wind up at the doctor or the hospital. And people sometimes contact me after they've been to the doctor. The doctors are the physicians, meaning they work with the physical body. And if they're not finding anything, that means it is metaphysical. And that means you're right in time. So you can get assistance from me to be able to help you with things. What about the things that your head messes with you about? What it was, what was this, who was it, what does it mean anyway? Let's simmer down all the mental thoughts and get back to feeling. Because feeling love is initially how you first felt this and went on your search. You went researching. So... I do have also my book, Twin Flame Body, Your Subtle Body Connections, and I have a quote from Rumi. Let yourself be silently drawn by the strange pull of that of what you truly love. Okay? Something is pulling you. Something is magnetizing you. If you're there like this, like... And you're catching your breath that's understandable but get the assistance that you need so the links are below you can email me my email address is below in the description thanks so much and i will be back with more